Hello and welcome everyone to Let's Play Tomb Raider 4 The Last Revelation. So guys, 115 speaking. This is our second and final very brief foray into the street bazaar. We have just been thrown out of the first street bazaar into the third trenches, which we pretty much just used to climb a sandy slope into the second street bazaar, just so we can reach the minefield entrance into the trenches at the beginning of the street bazaar. <laughs> Let's go over the soldier's corpse. Actually, no, no, we don't need to do that. Lara just loves to do that. Uh, trampling him. So, rather than there being some connection between the end of Street Bazaar and the beginning of Street Bazaar, they decided to use the trenches as that connection, which frustrates me to no end due to my video splitting rule, but there you have it. So, after this long and exhausting journey, let me pull up the statistics screen. We wrapped up everything we could in Street Bazaar, so this will be more of a reminder that we have found all 10 items. Of course, if you are playing the original PC release from 1999, you will be able to find 12 items here. So an important distinction to make, or if you are playing the PS1 version. Not sure what it's like on Dreamcast, and uh, I assume the same. Then we have also killed all three enemies. By the way, Guardian of Samarkand makes another appearance here, but I consider him to be the same enemy as in the level called Guardian of Samarkand, just like the same truck we were chasing in two levels, KV-5 and Valley of the Kings. And finally, we have found this level's one and only secret during our first visit. So, again, let me make a save here, and I will see you guys once I make those few steps towards the minefield.